All right, guys, I just landed and I am here in Cap Haitian, Haiti. <laughs> So there was one ATM inside of the airport, but it was not working. So I still need to get some Haitian dollars. Uh, this is kind of what the airport looks like outside. Just waiting for my hotel to come pick me up. Looks like there's a COVID testing center right across the street. And when you come to arrivals, there's lots of taxi drivers who would come pick you up. So yeah, lots of, lots of stuff going on when you get to the airport. I'm <laughs> Hey. <laughs> this is what the hotel looks like. You come in through the front door here. There's a bathroom. Yeah, it looks like there's no door on the bathroom. <laughs> uh, this is the bed. They have a fan, they don't have AC. Um, I'm only here for two nights and then I am going home. Um, but yeah, just gonna make the best of it for two nights and see what happens. All right guys, so it is the next morning and today I am taking a tour with a local guide. Um, I think his name is Joseph. And we are just going to go around the city of uh, Cap Haitian today. We're going to go see the cathedral. Um, there's some colonial streets that we can go see. So um, I'm going to head over to the lobby right now, maybe grab some breakfast if they still have it. And then I'm going to head over to this tour. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy seeing a little bit of Cap Haitian, what the city looks like. 
Um, there's all different kinds of parts of Haiti. So you might see other videos. They might be a resort video. Um, there are some resorts all the way up in the north. So um, yeah, this is just one part of Haiti uh, that I just wanted to give you guys an, an insight to today. Really amazing view of Cap Haitian. You can see the cathedral right there. All right, guys, so I am here with Joseph, my tour guide for the day. I'm so excited. What are we going to go see today? But and then everything is okay, so and then so Capetian is more safe. So I like that, and I hope every, everyone wants to travel in Haiti or travel in Capetian exactly. Tour guide Joseph is here for you to guide you, to lead you, whatever you want to go in Capetian. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a fun day. I'm excited. Uh, to remember the, the yeah, battle when the the yeah. nations this won. Is the place, the wow. Wow. Oh, that's the place. Oh, this the place. The battle to take independence. Wow. Take independence. Cause and then so, and I told you we are colonized by the French people. Oh. But after all, taking the banners, but people have to make together. They finally battle the oh, the hero, mm -hmm. oh, make together. That's about two kilometers from here. Uh -huh. But so they do a ceremony called ceremony of Rakaima. Oh. But they do the sacrifice of okay. the Peter Black okay. and about seven days to celebrate the anniversary of and the and the August 15th. Yeah. But they do the ceremony. The ceremony take a pick up about the midnight, take a pick black and death the pick and give the black for the one of the oh, four thousand slavers inside. Oh. And after each day, after they have a power strong mystical, how to take a finally battle to get the products. Oh, but then that's why so 18 November, so 1804, uh -huh. we do a, we do a finally bow to take independence. Okay. And that the place uh, or to serve us uh, is a place for independence. Uh, too many people know that uh, we are the first black people to take independence. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. So there's a, a voodoo ceremony that happens and it's a, a bloodletting from a pig. And then they drink the, the blood and makes them uh, warriors or makes them strong. Yeah. Yeah, those motorcyclists they'll just cut right out in front of you and in front of the car. It's very hard to avoid them. Oh, okay. Now we're at the church or the cathedral place and for, for someone and the government oh, but for okay. the delegation of the north funding by the King Henry Christoph. Oh. King Henry Christoph is the man to building the city of Lafayette and Palace Saint Souci. Oh wow. But and then okay. so he was stay here before to build in the citadel and Palace Saint Souci. Uh -huh. After independence he built in the delegation of the north. That the oh. part and for someone or have the control Capetian mm. and go to Port and tell the president what's going on about Capetian and turn back. Oh, I but see. And then the delegation, if only by the King Arrakis, of the statue uh, of the King Arrakis. Uh, Henry led the um, Haitians to defeat the French. Yeah, of uh, course. Okay, exactly. okay, that makes sense. But and then uh, he participated cool. in the Haitian Revolution place after after independence. He go to Saint Patrick. Uh -huh. He built in many things. He's a clever man. But mm -hmm. that's why, so you don't want the Haitian people after independence continues to speak French. Because oh. then they tell, we tell, and we take independence in the hand of the French, yeah. they cannot continue to speak French. Because yeah. then we have to speak only English and Creole. Yeah. But that's why he's building many things university and, and school, and then house buildings. But he was 
the first house of the king of the south after independence wow. but after the die of the king of the south it transformed as the university oh, but wow. right now it put the name of the king university of the king of the south wow oh and, wow and then there are many options and about agronomies economies and and then engineering mm -hmm. but you know that. that's awesome wow so this used to be a house a french colonial house and now it's a university it's been uh it's been redone but it right next to the church so anything in proximity to the church is usually best real estate best uh best place to get a home so very interesting ah uh, here's another university okay why i just tell you so capation is a country tourist uh -huh. in many colonial houses this is the colonial house, the colonial house, the point by the French people. Oh wow. But in then, so he is for the first man, he's a man to pass on in the Asian Revolution is the house. It's called Osvaldo. Oh, Osvaldo okay. is a man to pass on in the economic Asian after an Asian Revolution. Okay. But he left the Asian, he go to the French mm -hmm. country and he passed on the economic friends and after he back, he was dead in Capetian. But oh. that's why the colonial house stay is the patrimony of oh. that one for one for the people and about the government people to restore oh. in another and people can come to see. Yeah. But let me show you something. Okay. But you can see, so, and about the construction, uh -huh. there's something called a bricker and something yeah. right and to do together. But and then that is sacrificed in the colonial house, but it's very hard. Same like that for the construction of the citadel. You will see that in the citadel. Mm -hmm. So, and then it's very hard, difficult to get destroyed. Because mm -hmm. then uh, he has a power with the thing they cook for the construction. But that's oh, why, okay. so the colonial house is very, very, very important in downtown Capetian. Oh, I see. You see it a lot in downtown because it's all French, the, yeah, yeah, the brick. Course. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, well. All right, and here's the Notre Dame of uh, Capetian. Very large Catholic church. But this is the church, and we call it a uh, Notre Dame church. Uh -huh. Notre Dame is a partner of Capetian. Capetian will celebrate 15 August and about the anniversary of the ghost partner exactly Notre Dame. Okay. But this is the part, the first park of downtown Capetian called Notre Dame Park. Oh, but wow. so Capetian exactly he discovered about 1670 yeah. or by the man called Roger Ojon. He is a he was a Colombian man, oh. but before the colonizers of the French people recognized by the Espanol. But okay. Capetian was called Guayco. <laughs> After the colonial of the Espanol recognized by the French people, Capetian was called Cap French. But after the independence, we take we we take independence at the end of the French. Mm -hmm. with Capetian is we he call it Capetian. Oh, exactly. that makes sense. But okay. then, so that's a museum oh. you know, for the Catholic Church. Uh -huh. But maybe so he cannot cop. It, it don't happen yet. Okay. So maybe tomorrow, if I will be with you, I can pass inside or to see yeah. how the construction is exactly. It's a museum Catholic Church, but too many people in the world know the portrait of Haiti. Oh wow! Yeah, it looks like they just had a funeral here. So that's where that those people are coming from. Yeah, it's very cool though. Mm. Like that. They have a two houses in downtown. It's a urban house, it's a uh -huh. colonial house. But the same like that is the house, colonial. Okay. But, and then for the top, you can see, and, and how is small. And yeah. when you go inside, so it's bigger. Okay. But too many people still live and buy and buy. It's closed. All the mm. houses closed. Mm. Right? But that's why, so the house colonial is very important and about of the, or, or can the architecture do, or the flow do it. But yeah. that's why when I have a big flow, yeah. in Capetian, too many houses is thick. Because then they okay. close together. Oh, I see. Okay. They're very close together and the double shutters and balconies are just so reminiscent of that French colonial style. about the jealousy uh -huh. jealousy on the house is colonial is the outside uh, and at countryside too oh, and okay. someone uh, living at countryside tell uh, the jealousy why they tell jealousy let me show you something okay yeah they have those talking about double the shutters there. Too, or right and left. yeah but and then so Right cannot go inside, this is the left. Uh -huh. It cannot go, or right cannot go before the left. 
because uh -huh. and then they cannot close because oh. then they're talking about the jealousy oh, but oh, life have to close before and after the right to close and to close but that's why yeah. someone live in a countryside or tell about the jealousy but oh, it's, more, okay. it's, it's more cultural very cultural that makes sense yeah, yeah. What's going on over here, over uh, with all the yellow jackets, oh, or, the uh, orange, I'm sorry. People is there how to save and about, oh, you know, so they have a medical body and uh -huh. the government and population, how to clean out uh, the street uh, and then to protect someone else and about the body. Oh, I see. Those are police officers over there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see. They're out cleaning the area and protecting the uh, the area around this uh, this town square. It is the hotel of the city. Oh, I see. For the magistrate. Ah, uh, hotel down villa. Clean downtown Capetian for the municipal or uh -huh. do something else. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, quite cool. So, if you're like a nun, if you're a priest, you can live basically just within walking distance of the church over here. Let me oh. give you a picture. Yes? Week? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 so this is the Cap Plaza. Cap wow. Plaza is the place for the Haitian food. Nice. But you can test the Haitian food. There are too many places for the Haitian food. Yeah. And then for food ones of all Oh, oh, favorite food or oh, Haitian or oh, still from some many, many, many times. Nice. So, and the night is very nice and the night and about the nightlife. Okay. Okay, very cool. What's your favorite uh, Haitian food? And rice and bean or sauce and chicken press. Oh, nice. So, sauce and chicken yeah. press. And a lot of the food, it's uh, kind of like Creole food. Yeah. Creole food? Yeah, or, Creole. No, yeah, Creole, yeah food. Creole food. Oh, very nice. Many places. Right, cool. This is such a cute place so you can come take pictures here and there's food all over. They have all these umbrellas. Awesome. It's a hotel. Very cute little area. Oh, and there's a little hotel over here too. A lot of the hotels, uh, the buildings are still from the French colonial period. They use a lot of colonial homes for the hotels. Really, really cool. The ocean over here looks so nice. It's such a beautiful, beautiful ocean. Is fishing pretty big? A lot yeah. of fishing fishermen? Yeah, okay. we have a fishermen. Oh, very cool. But at Labadi, you will see the way I get all the people fishing. Ah, uh, that to makes sense. Fry, to take the thing. Show you a site, it is called Malav Carpation. Malav Carpation. <laughs> oh, oh, this is cute. What does that mean in Creole? In meaning I, I love Ocap. Cap? Carpation meaning Ocap. Oh, okay. I love Carpation basically yeah. in Creole. Okay. Oh, very cute. This is cool. This is like, their, um, this is like the sign in uh, Carpation that everybody takes a picture with near the beach. Very cool. or something for the, for the diaspora, Haitian diaspora. Oh, cool. Oh, very cool. There's the ocean over here. Oh, cool. Oh, I see. Oh, very cool. Laka is a restaurant Creole and very nice too. Okay. Okay. 
Over. The casino in uh -huh. the night. Play something. Casino, food. This is where all the nightlife happens. Yeah. Okay, very cool. This is the boulevard. But boulevard. We have the carnival mm -hmm. in yeah. Haiti. The carnival is running on the boulevard for too many people. Oh. Man, man, man. Okay. We, we have the culture. Uh, that mm -hmm. The culture is the carnival and champet. And okay. champet is meaning uh, for someone to, to someone believe in a Oh, uh, uh, I see. Maybe for someone they just go back or in Haiti or to go in the place uh -huh. or to go on the place <laughs> for the Bodu uh -huh. or to pray yeah, something like that for Haitian Capitian who will celebrate the anniversary uh -huh. but they will pray in the church in front of the cross they will call it Notre Dame they think mm -hmm. so Notre Dame can do something back for them oh, but I see. then uh, they still come to do the thing giving uh, and for the spirit and pray the spirit uh, or, or ask the spirit something else, something more, mm -hmm. and about the prosperity and to do something else to get a new job, to get a lot of money. That but you know, Vodou and Haiti yeah. is about that. Okay. But it's not, it's not, a, or someone can take the Vodou and the mind or to do something bad, mm -hmm. but it's not a, a something bad. But it is a something or to get the prosperity. <laughs> if you want to do something else and about the Vodou, mm -hmm. or do it or try to get a new job, to try to get a lot of money, yeah. but they can pray on X and go in the place of the Vodou and pray or do something else. Oh, that makes sense. Oh. Cool. The roads are pretty good around town. There's not a lot of potholes, actually. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The roads are very good here. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the Caribbean islands have very pot potholes everywhere, but inside yeah. Capetian, the roads are very, they're very well paved. Yeah. Economics and finance. Maybe that's where you pay taxes. Do you, uh, do you have to fill out a tax return? Taxing. No, a uh, tax return, taxes. Would you? Oh, the tax? Yeah. Yeah, for the car. Yeah, they okay. do it, the tax for the car. Do you have but... income, income tax here? Uh, huh? Income tax? Do you pay tax on your income here? Yeah. 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 Do you have to fill out a return or do they take it out automatically from your paycheck? And then for what do you? Do you, do you fill out a tax return? At the beginning of the year, do you fill out a tax return? Yeah, they have it. Yeah. They have it there. Yeah, you have to do that. Job. Okay. Some countries don't use tax returns like Israel. They just take it out of the, their bank. You know, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. Okay. It's more touristical and cavation. Okay. It's on the sea. Oh, okay. It's off the sea. Oh, very yeah. cool. What's the What's the number one profession here in Haiti? Uh huh. What's the number one profession, uh, career, or uh, jobs that people do? What are the number one jobs? The one job in Haiti? Yeah, what What are the most t popular jobs that people have? Oh, the have? yeah, the popular yeah. jobs. So maybe, and I think so, and someone do oh, do the little business. Okay. Or do the little, or buy something to on the street. Okay. But, and then, so, you know. Like but, mer merchants, and, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Makes sense. That's really cool. But then they don't have a, a, a exactly job of from the government men in Haiti. Okay. Because in them, so too many people in the shirmage or too many people seems, uh, 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 don't don't work exactly. They okay. still work by themselves, you know. They're self-employed, basically. Yeah. yeah. Do the police officers? The police officers are employed by the government. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Oh wow! Here's the ocean. Very beautiful. This is the ocean and you can hear right? Just to let you know to see the A1 market. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the A1 market. Okay. There's a lot of buildings too. I mean, there's a lot of French buildings yeah, there. Yeah, many buildings. There's, yeah, this whole, so the whole all area. So old is sometimes. Yeah, it's crazy. Wow. By this time, usually the buildings would have uh, been torn down or. They, they wouldn't be here by now, but they, these ones are they're still here yeah. after all these years. to a marketplace right now yeah all right I'm gonna go look at um, some of the things that they sell for the marketplace and if this is by Spanish Street or Española Street 
of everything, lots of fruits and vegetables here, all kinds of stuff. Lots of canned goods. Looks like everybody's selling a little bit of everything. There's some fruit, bananas. Lots of things here. Famous bananas here. A little bit of everything. Lots of fruits and vegetables, tomatoes. This is such a such a cool place to see because you're right um, in front of this old French architecture, and you're in this crowded little marketplace to see everything. Wow, this marketplace is huge. Oh. They have a little bit of everything here, it looks like. Excuse me. Just here's some shoes that they're selling. Lots of shoes. <laughs> shoes everywhere. But they buy the thing off from B here uh -huh. and from all the chills here. Oh, oh wow. That's really cool. Lots of shoes, shoes, shoes everywhere. Oh wow. Lots of shoes everywhere. It's really nice. Oh, I'm so sorry. Excuse, excuse me. Sorry. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Sorry. Oh, okay. Hey. <laughs> So that's part of the part for to buy something mystical. Oh, to buy something mystical. Oh, okay. So you can buy something if you're looking to practice some voodoo. You can get your supplies here. It's definitely a busy place. There's some chicken. Some fresh chicken. And it's outside of the sun, so there's not a lot of flies around anything. Ah. Oh. My rice beans, yeah. Looks like they have a little bit of everything. They have some chicken feet here. Huge, huge market. You can buy almost anything here. There's food, clothing. There's medicine. Anything that you would really need or want, you could get here. They have canned goods here too. Oh, they have a to take the packs and the hand of the people. Oh, I see. To clean the Airwan market. Oh, okay. So that market, the the Airwan market, has been here since. Um, since independence. Yeah, yeah. Right? So it's been here ever since Haiti was established. Yeah. Um, and yeah, they've been taking taxes from people selling in the marketplace for all the time. So if yeah. you're a vendor in the marketplace, do you have to pay to get a spot in that market? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Exactly. Okay, so it's a popular marketplace. But, That's really but, cool. But and then, so the government or every population will see uh -huh. that many people inside of the market but not too much place for the people okay. but that's why it would be all the Iran market outside of downtown okay wow very cool this is where all the people yeah, go for the yeah, nightlife everybody parties over here yeah they have the ocean right across so that makes sense <laughs> 
and you were saying earlier the Catholics believe more in voodoo. The Catholic population here is very into voodoo, but the the Baptists they're not. No, Baptists Baptist are not, not into. Baptists okay. not. Was well, then in Baptist church, but and you have to prove and then by the pastor. But oh. pastor can can make you do everything pastor want. Oh, but and then you cannot do nothing by himself. Okay. So that's why so pastor pastor in Haiti is different. I don't know for the US but maybe it's different. But in Haiti you cannot take oh, a t shirt same like that for the paints. Oh, but and then so have a have a dress or oh, long dress mm -hmm. but you have to do only so in the dress a normal dress. That's but and then to go in the church. But in Catholics no, you can put a, a dress paint and go inside of the church or do it everything you want or practice the voodoo too. But mm -hmm. you know, so Maybe so hell Haitian people believe in about voodoo, but we take independence by the voodoo. Cause but in the Catholic in the Catholic Church people believe in about the voodoo. Some people don't practice the voodoo too. Mm, but they don't be they, they don't like it, but they Alright guys. We're here at a restaurant and they have some traditional Haitian food here. Oh this is okay, pizza's not traditional Haitian food, that's Italian, but <laughs> I think they have some some uh, traditional food and this is a pretty popular place that people go to yeah Bocanier, yes. okay it's very cute it has like a little bar and restaurant very very adorable thank you okay? oh yeah this is great thank you so much all right guys so i got some i think this is called briot um i'm not actually sure what it is i think it's pork it looks like it's um it looks like this is pork skin. That's what I'm thinking it is. Um, I kind of feel bad. My, my tour guide's sister got into an accident. So he's um, on the phone. She's actually in the hospital right now. And then his brother had some big stick of pork in his neck. So he's also in the hospital. Um, so it, just very, very sad, kind of. Everything good? <laughs> yeah. Did you order something? Get some food. Yeah, yeah. Baby. Okay. Um, okay. I'm just on. You can eat in here. You guys, I'm so annoyed. This hotel, they didn't have AC in the first room. So I went up and asked if they had a room with AC and they said, yeah, we do, but it's gonna be another $50 a night. I'm like, yeah, here's here's my $50. Where's the AC? I get into the room and they the AC isn't working. And I'm like, hey, the AC doesn't work. And she's like, oh, it'll work at 7 p.m. When it's cool. <laughs> 7 p.m. when it's cool. It's like boiling hot outside in the daytime and they won't let this, the AC turn on. So. Uh, yeah, you can't turn the AC on until 7 p.m. and it only works until 5 a.m. So one one more night here and then um, and then I can leave and go home. But that's crazy. That's just crazy because the time that you need the AC is in the daytime. It's not at 7 p.m. at night. That's you don't even need the AC at, at that late at night. Um, so yeah, one more night without AC. Uh, I'm so excited to go home, you guys. I cannot wait. <laughs> The fan is really loud, so I'm sorry, but let me just clarify something as well. There are some really nice resorts in Cap Haitian, but they're all the way up to the north. So if you want to see any of like the old colonial buildings, um, any of the downtown area, it's it's like probably a 30 minute drive north from downtown area to get to one of the resorts in Cap Haitian. Um, so if you're going to a resort, that's quite literally all you're going to is just to go see the beach and to the resort, but you're not going to see any of the historical stuff. So anyway, that's why I'm staying in this area because I'm near downtown Cap Haitian and that's what I wanted to go see. Um, but there are some nice resorts in Haiti. It's not that, you know, every single part of Haiti is, is like this one. Um, but it's just not, it's not going to be near anything that you would want to go see if you go to a resort. So <sighs> anyway, one more night. I have quite literally 22 more hours in Haiti um, and then I'm going to hop on a flight and go back home. <laughs> So three main takeaways um, from today, and, and this is going to come up probably somewhere in the comments. I, I know somebody will bring it up, but um, a lot of people will always wonder, Haiti and Dominican Republic, they're on the exact same island, right? They have the same, same resources. There's just a line dividing them. Why is Haiti like this and Dominican Republic is like Dominican Republic? What's the, what is it? Like, what's going on there? Um, Obviously, Haiti was the very first black republic, right? So all of the African, sub-Saharan Africans, the slaves, they revolted against the French, they took over the government. Um, so the history behind Haiti and Dominican Republic, obviously it's very, very different because there's a lot of European roots in Dominican Republic. So totally different population, totally different people. Um, second huge difference is obviously the voodoo. Um, 
you know, the voodoo is very, it's completely different, right? And it, it, it applies to the population so much differently than um, a typical Catholic or Christian church would. I'm sure you guys probably um, heard what Joseph was saying earlier, but voodoo is even practiced in the Catholic church here in Haiti, which traditionally, of course, if you're Catholic or if you know anything about Catholicism, that's very, very, um, uh, it, it's almost like a sin to practice voodoo. It's like witchcraft, right? But here in Haiti, voodoo is very much um, a part of the religion here. Um, so it's, it's very, very common um, for people to be practicing witchcraft and voodoo and things like that. Um, and that's pretty common in Creole. You know, if you go to Louisiana and New Orleans, they're, they're going to have, um, I don't know if people, probably some people still practice it, but it's very rare. Um, and then third biggest takeaway is really just the, the farming here, right? Because there's a lack of um, food and resources here for all the Haitians. There's 12 million Haitians living on the island, uh, just on their side too, just on that side of their island. Um, so it's very, very crammed, tight pack. Um, if you go to Port-au-Prince, the capital, it's going to be very, very overpopulated, very crammed. But to to make a society function, you have to have um, you have to have an independent source of, of food, right? You have to produce your own food. Um, that's kind of like the the basis of a, a good society or a running economy is you have to be able to produce your own food. You have to be self-sufficient. Haiti is not self-sufficient in that way. There's all kinds of theories for this. There's some people, there's been missionaries and there's been volunteers that have tried to come over to Haiti for years and years and years, and they've taught the people how to farm, but they've kind of given up because basically they'll come back year after year after year, and there, there hasn't been any progress with the farms. Um, so it leaves them with an insufficient source of food for themselves because they don't have, they just don't have the, the farms that they need. Um, they grow sugar and they grow bananas, but just like you heard him say, a lot of the sugar is actually exported. So it's not going back to the people of Haiti. They're not um, farming in a typical manner where they can they can grow their own food. When the missionaries and the volunteers would come back to Haiti later, they would ask, "Hey, why did you not make progress with the farm? Or, you know, what was um, what was stopping you from making progress?" And basically, the answers that they would receive is that uh, the men and men and the women working on the farms they would say, "Well, if I put all of my time into the farming, you know, it'll take me six months to, um, you know, basically to farm." Um, but if I go out and hunt or if I can, you know, go, go do something rapidly, if I can make fast cash, basically, um, then I'll, I'll have money. And a lot of it, especially in African countries um, with the same sub-Saharan populations, uh, a lot of the missionaries, when they would go over to sub, sub, uh, sub-Saharan Africa, they would ask the, uh, the locals there, hey, why did you stop farming? And they would say, well, you know, I, I thought if I put all of my time into trying to catch a bird and the bird had a diamond in its stomach, then I could use that money to retire. So on very, very rare occasions, um, basically they would find, you know, sometimes like very rare occasions, maybe one in a hundred thousand or, you know, something, some rare number, um, almost like winning the lottery kind of, you know, sometimes they would find a diamond uh, where a a bird would have swallowed a diamond and they kill the bird and then they can, they have money from the diamond. Um, But it's basically, it comes down to short versus long-term thinking. And a lot of the population doesn't... um, practice those long-term thinking skills when it comes to the farming. So uh, the, that's one of the largest barriers in getting Haiti to be self-sufficient is um, basically, you know, trying to find a group of individuals here that will successfully run a farm and continue to, um, you know, to water and plant and harvest on a continual basis year after year after year. And if you're not in that long-term mindset, it's very, very difficult to, um, to run a successful farm and to have a sufficient food supply. So that's one of the largest barriers. And there's always going to be a couple documentaries and a couple um, series out there. There's a lot on YouTube that'll say, well, the reason Haiti is so bad is because of the French colonization. Well, if we go to other places in the world, like, you know, French Guyana, or if we go to, French Guyana is still owned by France, but, you know, if we go to Laos or if we go to um, any other places in the world that have been colonized by by France, that's really not the case, right? Uh, This country, Haiti is very, very different from those other countries that were colonized by France. So. Uh, that's kind of, it's kind of a, it's not really a good theory. Um, I think a lot of people just kind of want to push the problem off to France and blame France for why Haiti is the way it is. Um, but that's not really the real reason. And then I just watched another documentary the other day. Uh, they went through Haiti and Dominican Republic and tried to uh, d- just blatantly say that it was the Dominican Republic's fault for why Haiti is the way it is, uh, which is just you guys, you can't believe everything that you hear because that's that's definitely not the case, and uh, it's very slanderous to um, to the Dominican Republic. It's not really. Fair. 
Haiti, uh, originally they had a very good start actually when they uh, gained independence from France. They actually took all of the French laws, uh, they took the French style of government and they used it in the new Haitian government. Um, one of the, the other things that Joseph mentioned today was that Cap Haitian is so much different than the capital because the police force here only uh, governs about, or they only, they only watch over about 300,000 people in Cap Haitian. When you go over to Port-au-Prince, he said that there's not enough police officers for the population because the population is just running over. So um, there's just basically a huge lack of law enforcement in the area. Um, he was he mentioned how his brother was in Port-au-Prince and he had somebody stab him in the throat in the throat with a fork. Um, so it's it's very you know it's very violent. Regardless of all the problems that are here in Haiti today, I would never deter somebody from coming and visiting. Um, I think Cap Haitian is completely safe if you want to come visit. Um, I probably, if you were alone and you were a female like me, I probably would get a tour guide. Um, when some of the locals, when we were walking downtown, if they didn't know that I was with that tour guide, they would like come up and approach me. <laughs> um, so I just want to give you guys the heads up. That's probably going to be the case if you're, you know, a single woman and you come here alone. But um, yeah, it's a super interesting place. Lots and lots, lots of history and completely different than any other place in North or South America or the Caribbean. Um, first Black Republic. So um, yeah, really, really interesting. And um, yeah, it was fun coming and seeing it. And I hope you guys enjoyed.